Hello viewers, welcome back to another video on Tutor LMS Academy. Today we have a short tutorial on how you can create an assignment on Tutor LMS for your students and grade that assignment using the assignment add-on of Tutor LMS. So without further ado, let's dive right into it folks. To get started, we need to first go to the add-ons tab of Tutor LMS, scroll down and find the assignment add-on and make sure that we have this enabled. Once you've enabled this, you'll find a new tab under Tutor LMS Pro called Assignments. But we'll come back to this in a little bit. First, we need to go to Courses. So navigate to the Courses section and select the course that you want to create an assignment for. So let's go ahead and select this course. And once you're in the course editor, scroll down to find the course builder. In the course builder section, make sure that you have a topic created. If you're unsure about how to create topics, we have videos on how to navigate the course course builder of Tutor LMS, so be sure to check that out. So under our topic, we can find an assignment button. Clicking this button will let us create an assignment for this course. So once we have the assignment pop up, we can add an assignment title. Once you have an assignment title, go ahead and add a summary if you feel like that's needed over on this section. This will help describe your assignment better to students and you can give all your instructions on this text box. Next, you can upload attachments so you can have a PDF file where you can just upload the PDF and have all the information available about the assignment to your students on the file. Then we can set a time limit. Let's set it to two weeks. This is the time limit that students will have to submit this assignment. Once the two weeks is up, the assignment submission will not be valid anymore. Then you can set the points or the grade your assignment will carry for your course. By default, it's set to 10, but change it to whatever is necessary for your course. After that, you can set a minimum pass point. So out of the points that you selected up here, you can set how much a student needs to get to pass the assignment automatically. And lastly, you can select how many files students can upload for this assignment. By default, it is set to one. We can increase it to two and however much we want but if you set it to zero then remember that this will disable the option to upload any files so if you don't want your students to upload any files for their assignment be sure to hit that to zero and then after that we can have the maximum file size limit for the submission that students are going to send so we can set a limit by default it's set to two megabyte you can either increase it or decrease it according to your needs for your courses so once we've added all the things to our assignment we can go ahead and click update assignment so so once you've put down all the information for students and the attachments that you want students to receive, go ahead and click update assignment. But before we go on to update assignment, you can see that there's a chat GPT logo here. And if you click on it, basically you will be able to generate content for the assignment summary using chat GPT. If you have chat GPT integrated into tutor LMS, if you're unsure about how to integrate chat GPT with tutor LMS, keep an eye out on the theme channel. We already have a video on how to integrate chat GPT with tutor LMS. All right. So with that, we're done with creating the assignment. So now we'll go ahead and click update assignment. And on the course builder, we can see that our assignment is added to this topic on the course. So to make sure that this assignment has been added to the course properly, go ahead and click update and update this course. So after we've added the assignment, let's see how it looks on the front end. So on the front end in the course details page, we can see that under the course content section, we have our assignment right here. And if we click on this, since we're already enrolled into this course, this is what the assignment section is going to look like. We have the duration displayed here and the deadlines in days and hours, the total marks, passing marks, and the description of the assignment. When students click on start assignment submit, they'll get this screen where they can answer the assignment on this answer form and they can upload a file. Since we've allowed uploading a file, this box is showing up. If you disallow file attachment uploads, then students will not be able to see this box. They'll just have to answer the assignment on the assignment answer form. So once students have filled out all the information that's needed to finish the assignment, they can go ahead and click submit assignment and this assignment will be submitted and will show a pending status because the instructor has to grade and approve the assignment for the students to be able to pass it. So now as an admin or as an instructor, you need to go ahead and grade this assignment. So how do we do that? We're going to go back to WordPress backend and from Tutor LMS Pro, we're going to scroll down to find the assignments 
tab and we'll go to that. So we can see that we have the assignments that have been submitted by the students on this tab and to grade the assignment, we'll go to evaluate. Over here, we can see their answer and the files that they have uploaded. So go ahead, grade your assignment. And once you're done with your grading, you can mark the student over here. So let's go ahead and give them eight marks and we can write a feedback for the student. So you can point out any mistakes and any rooms for improvement that the student might have for this assignment so that they can further better themselves throughout the duration of the course. Once you've finished marking and writing your feedback, click on evaluate this submission and the assignment will have been evaluated. Now, if we go back to the assignments tab, we can see that we no longer have the option to evaluate. We can always change our evaluation by going back to the assignment details. But for now, this student will see their assignment as passed. So if we go back to the front end view of the course in the assignments on the learning mode, we can see that from the pending status of the assignment, it has now been updated to passed. And we can see the instructor note, how much marks the students have gotten. And they have all the information about the evaluation of the assignment right here on the screen. And on the left side of the course content, we can see that the assignment has been marked with a green check mark showing that the student has passed this module of the course. Well, there it is, folks. This was the small tutorial on setting up assignments for students and how instructors can grade the assignments after submission. We hope that this video has been helpful for you all. Please be sure to let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions or requests for another video. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.